Hello everyone, my name is Deckerlink the Trained Unprofessional, and welcome back to what appears to be the last episode of Lagoon Lounge. Uh, I've already got the second game and the third game queued up and downloaded and taken care of, so whenever I'm done with this one, I'm just going to move straight on to the next one and just keep the fucking ball rolling. So, uh, without further ado, let's just fucking go. Uh, if this is the end, let the end come. Bring it on, motherfucker. Chapter 3, When Secrets Are Revealed, Episode 2. I need a new chair. Finished with dinner at the lounge, Sosuke and I return to his house. I get in the bath first, then Sosuke. Before I know it, it's 11 o'clock. It's already 11, huh? Are you going to bed soon? Yeah, I am. What's the matter? It's today for one more hour. Alright, only one hour left of me doing whatever you ask me to do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Hmm, what? Just one hour. Would you be weirded out if I asked you to sleep with me? That's kind of unexpected. I expected some things, but I never thought you'd ask for something like that. So many secrets have already come out, so I... Thought I'd be honest with myself every once in a while. Are you desperate? Maybe. <laughs> your voice is shaking. You hesitated a lot for being asked if you're desperate, didn't you? Oh. Alright, I'll sleep with you. I'll keep you company for one night, not one hour. Are you sure? You said you wanted me to, right? You don't think I'm crossing the line? Nope, you're not. Really? Yep. Alright. So we're going to take a nap. Night. While I'm getting ready for to go to bed in my room, I hear a knock at the door. Come in. The door opens and Sosuke answers. He's holding a pillow in his arms. Is that your favorite? It's not like that. I'd be cramped for both of us to sleep with one pillow. We clearly have more than one. We have like four. <laughs> You're ready for anything. Stop teasing me. Come on, then. Get over here. I turn over the edge of the sheet and pat the spot next to me. Pardon me. What are you being so polite for? Shut up. Oh, wait, we have five, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sosuke puts his pillow next to mine, then lies down next to me. Even though I was kidding around with him, my heart is still pounding for some reason. Now that he's lying in bed next to me, I'm really nervous. Can you sleep? Why? You have work tomorrow, right? Yeah. You want to talk? Want? Do you want to talk about something? Sure. That'll probably make me sleepy eventually. All right then. I have a few questions. Hmm. What? Do you have a boyfriend or something? That kind of talk, huh? I'm not sure. I won't force you. I used to have one. Really? It was go. Invited to the fucking dinners. That, wait. That means go. Was it? Huge. Hermione. What? Whoa! You and Go were a couple? Huh? Wait. Hold on a second. Don't yell. You'll make me even less sleepy. Sorry, but more importantly, you were going out with Go. Yes. Oh, I see. Is that why Yujiruku no, knew Sosuke's sexuality? That's what he meant by he was a pitcher with Go. <laughs> Wait, that, that means uh, Go is a catcher. So he's a catcher that doesn't like to suck dick. I don't. I'm. Dick! I'm. Very cute. <laughs> he, didn't he. He'll. He, he alluded to the fact that he didn't like guys, but then... But he never outright said it. Oh! So I can go back. It's just really sp It's like, spaced out. 
He'd find out something like that even if he hadn't tried to, if they were practicing together all the time. But I never noticed it at all. Well, yeah, we're not dating now. I see. Huh. So Go's really gay too? No, he's straight. What? But if he's going out with you? We never did anything that boyfriends would do. We were in a relationship in name only. Even if we were dating now, I think you probably wouldn't notice. Okay, in name only, why would you have that kind of relationship? It's kind of a long story, are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, I do. Alright then! Uh. There isn't a school in this village, so Go and I both went to town when we, when we were in school. We were the only students in the same year from the same village, so we quickly became close friends. I got into swimming after entering junior high, and he started playing baseball. But even though our clubs took a lot of our time, we would hang out even when we had breaks. However, Go became active on his baseball team in high school, so he could be popular with girls. Wow. He's rude and has a bad mouth. Why did I fall in love with him? Well, he fell in love with you too, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Anyways... One year in autumn, I think it was, he got his first girlfriend. She confessed to him, and he was, but he was very in love with her. He was crazy about her in those days. From then on, I had less and less opportunities to talk to him. We rarely hung out, too. I was kind of lonely. I started thinking about Go a lot around that time. Kugo, are you awake? Yeah, I am. In case you don't remember, Kugo is just is, was the default name, but since we changed ours, it just sometimes doesn't do it. Sorry, this is probably boring you, isn't it? Do you want to go to sleep already? Don't sleep. I'm listening. I'm not quiet because I'm bored. I'm listening. Please continue if you feel like it. All right. Uh, uh, how was that uh, when I started to become aware of it? She was a very nice girl. They were both. They both looked happy. Because of that, I felt even more sad. Despite my sadness and loneliness, I still wanted Go and her to be happy. But you had mixed emotions. But then they broke up at the end of the year. It seemed Go dragged it on too long. Oh shit, I moved the mouse. <laughs> A new semester started after that. Go was really depressed. I told him, I'm here for you, cheer up. Oh, that's just like you. What do you mean by whoa? However, Go said to me, but you're my best friend, not someone I'm in love with. How forward. I was really shocked at the that time, even though I know he's usually honest with me. Everything I'd been bottling up overflowed, and I began to cry right in front of Go. And then he suddenly started to panic. But he, he didn't know what to say, so he held my shoulders tightly for a while. Hey, show a little restraint if you're going to gush about him. <laughs> I'm not. You said you wanted to listen, right? I was upset and started talking to him. I spilled my guts about how I felt towards him. I told him that I wanted to be his boyfriend, even if we didn't act like a couple. Oh, he became your first love. What? Hmm? Yeah, you're right. What? So scary. Naturally, what? <laughs> I don't. What the fuck happened there? Naturally, Go was surprised at first. But then he said, I won't do anything if that's okay with you. And agreed in the end. Well, we really never did any to do anything. Even though you we were boyfriends, you didn't do stuff like have sex. Never. What about kiss? Nope. Sosuke, are you a virgin? D don't ask questions like that. I am a virgin. It was my fault. You never thought of doing it with Go? I thought about it a lot, but I didn't want to rock the boat. At that time, I was happy enough just to always be with him. Maybe I just wanted to solidify my position as his boyfriend. Why did you break up? When we graduated high school, Go asked me, are we still going out? For some reason, it no longer made sense to be going out, to be boyfriends. And then he said he's breaking up with me. You never thought about getting back together? No, I like the way things are now. He's my good friend, and I'm his. It's probably for the best. I see. Well, that's all. Thank you for telling me all that. It felt kind of good to talk about it. I've never, I never, I've never have before. I've never, ha I have never have. <laughs> Sasuke? So do you want to go to sleep soon? I'm sure you've gotten sleepy. No! 
This episode's not long enough. That reminds me. Hmm? A few days after I came to the village, on the first day I first experienced the giant- OW! Ah. Oh, fuck you! I have an ingrown toenail, and I just slammed it into my desk. Ah. On the first day I first experienced the giant of Horu, so you came to my room out of concern for me. Uh, now that you mentioned it, I did. When that happened with you beside me, I thought, why don't we sleep together? Just like this. <laughs> What's up with that? No, it's true. Hmm? I wanted to sleep with you. Are you joking with me? I told you, it's true. You're straight, aren't you? Actually, I'm the same as you. Are you teasing me? I swear it's true. Was that too sudden for you to believe? God damn, that fucking hurt. Even if you tell me that, isn't it a little too convenient? So, Skay, may I kiss- What? What the fuck? May I kiss you? Huh? A straight guy wouldn't do something like that. Well, that's true, but that's too extreme. You don't believe me. Alright, I believe you. I'm sorry for doubting you, you canon. Do you really? He doesn't. You know what I just realized? Morinatsu was the last, like, Japanese uh, visual novel that I played, and it was James Son then, and Buchanan was James Buchanan, so I could have called this guy James Son as well, and it would have been similar. Oh, my foot is bleeding. Ow. My hair is kind of doing a cool thing right now. I like it. He doesn't. I sit up and look into Sosuke's face. His pupils are shaking. But and his eyes are wide open. Hey. I bring the tip of my nose to his until they almost graze. I can feel the breaths coming out of his nose. He's getting tense. Sosuke, close your eyes. What the... Mm. I softly join my lips with Sosuke's... Oh my god! God, it's already that late. Was it because we were really going at it? You were pretty loud. No, I wasn't! No, oh, no, you're being modest. Was I really? Don't worry. I was the only one who heard you anyways. <laughs> Next day. My God, we heard some shit. Uh, so how was your first time? Felt good. Same here. Well, we should get to sleep already. Should we get to sleep already? You're right. Both of us get into bed and stare at the ceiling. Come to think of it, the whole this whole event has been like a dream. Sosuke is really gay, and I came out too. Then we that led us to kissing and eventually having sex. Did Sosuke really not hate that? Does he not regret it? Hmm? Sosuke turns over in his sleep towards me, placing his head on my left side. The pleasant smell of shampoo sweeps over my nose. I, s I put my left arm around his shoulders and hold his head so I can gently brush it. As if to say he allows it, he tugs. he tightly hugs my body. I see. That was fine. He didn't. Re he doesn't regret it. That's nice. Before too long, Sosuke begins to bre breath deeply in his sleep. I soon follow suit. Yay! And the next day. The following day at the Fountain Plaza. Oh, we're all together. Sorry for calling you out here so suddenly. No worry, it's no big deal. What about Sasuke-senpai? He's at work. Did you need him for something? Here, I want to apologize to him. A shopping bag hangs from her hand. Is there a box of pastries or something in there? Oh, have you really thought about why you're, th you're giving this to him? Yeah. You want me to give it to him for you? Please. Why are you giving him that? I'll tell you later. <laughs> I accept the shopping bag from Yuri and place it on the ground for the time being. But now I'd like to talk about this wish granting fountain. Hey! It's alright, go. Yuji Kun and Yuri already know about it. What? Yuri, I forgot to ask you yesterday, but where did you learn about the fountain? I eavesdropped on Yuri and Go Senpai's conversation. I. He mentioned. I feel like someone's watching. I know. You mentioned it for a reason. What? Sounds right after all. I thought I felt someone else's presence. You should have said something! I did! 
I understand now. It doesn't matter how important a secret is, there's no guarantee it'll never come out. <clears throat> That's why I have to cut off the source already. Ow. It's simple. From my pocket I pull out a hundred yen coin from with my name written on it. I vigorously toss it into the fountain. Hey! I don't know if, if a god or demon lives in there. This is probably your final wish, so listen carefully. Break, so that nobody can use you again. Andre Yen coin I tossed slowly sinks to the bottom. At the same time it disappears, a rose on the relief cracks and falls off the fountain. Water from the the water from the water supply suddenly stops, and the collected water is rapidly sucked down the drain. Wow. The amount of water decreases before our eyes, and before we know it, the fountain be has become completely empty. The fountain dried up! Are you sure about this? Somebody gets misfortune in exchange for your wish, don't they? The fountain is broken, so I don't think we need to be concerned about compensation anymore. Even if I'm wrong, the fountain was a big symbol of the village for the villagers has been lost. They can't grant wishes anymore. I think that's more than enough compensation. What do you mean? If you wish for somebody to lose something from the from, from the start, maybe you can control the compensation part to some degree. I see. It's unfortunate for the villagers, but I had to do something or this would never have ended. We don't know who could use the fountain at any moment. To solve this fundamentally, I had no choice but to make the fountain itself unusable. If that worked, it should return to being a normal fountain. Now let's test it out. This time, Yuji the Kun pulls a hundred yen coin out of his pocket. Naturally, his name's written on it. Why are you carrying something like that around? I just happen to have it! You were gonna use this fountain, weren't you? Uh, well, it's good timing. Yuji, can you try it? Right, okay, here I go. Make a small wish, just in case I get granted. Got it, take this! The hundred yen coin he tosses hits the bottom of the dry fountain. Now then, here's my wish. Please instantly he heal Go Senpai's burns. Yuji Kun, how are you feeling, Go? Doesn't seem like anything particular has changed. Really? Anyways, it's clear now that the fountain can't be used. So that's it then. That wasn't very satisfying. Huh? What's wrong, Yuri? The coins at the bottom. Look. Hmm. There are several coins that have fallen into the dried-up fountain. Coins with names written on them that were thrown to get wishes granted. Among the ones we threw in, there's one that shouldn't be there. What the? A hundred yen coin with Sosuke's name written on it. That night. Phew. You must have worked hard today, Sosuke. Turning home from work, Sosuke falls limp on the sofa. Although he's supposed to make dinner for us today, it looks like he could fall asleep right there. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the fountain. Hmm? It seems you heard about it from Go. I made it so that it can't be used today. I tell him about what happened during the day. I see. Yep, that's good. God, you look so serious. You used that fountain too, didn't you? A hundred yen coin with your name written on it was at the bottom of it. Oh, that- Damn it! That was my voice! <laughs> Fuck! Ah! No! What did you wish for? You already know the fountain, how the fountain works, right? Yeah. You give somebody misfortune for granting your wish. I didn't know at the time somebody would get misfortune in exchange. Even though I knew it was dangerous, I thought it'd be okay if it was a small one. It's something that I might have to apologize to you for. Me? Why? The next day when I learned about the fountain's effect from the giant of Arusu, I made a wish to it. It was... I want to see Buchanan again. That's why all of this... All of this is because of me. Yeah, now that I think about it, I was unemployed right at the time of the giant Harusu started appearing on TV. I also conveniently remem remembered Sosuke's new address, all of it. Did that happen because he used the fountain? Yeah, the premise is kind of outlandish. It's odd. I'm sorry. I don't think it's forgivable, but still, I'm sorry. Alright, now I forgive you. 
Huh? Don't get upset over that, Sosuke. It's too late to be worried about my unemployment now. Oh, it happened so easily. I hadn't been working for very long anyways. I started feeling tired of it way earlier. Besides, you didn't mean any harm anyways, right? On the contrary, you wanted to see me even though it had been ten years since ten years had passed. What is there to blame f you blame you for? Instead, I want to say thank you, Sosuke. What? I'm glad I came to this village. I'm really glad I met you and everybody else. I thought it was hopeless for me when I was unemployed, but now I don't think it was mis unfortunate at all. I'm not lying. That's how I truly, fe truly feel. <laughs> God damn it! From the bottom of my heart. So please, don't think that you did something wrong. Again, I'm not bothered by it, and you aren't doing anything bad either. The fountain can't be used anymore, so there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Thank you, Buchanan. Yep. Oh, wait. Huh? Why did you want me to see? Why do you want to see me so badly that you used the fountain? If it granted wishes, wasn't there plenty of other things you could have asked for? More importantly, what's for dinner? Oh, you! Oh, you still want to eat? Isn't it ready? No. <laughs> Making it has become too much of a hassle. Sorry, I'll do that now. Nah, I'm good for today. I'm sleepy too. Really? Well, I suppose that's fine. Are we sleeping together tonight? Again? You don't want to? That's not it. Uh, and it's decided! Now then, let's go to bed already. Sure. Yeah, motherfucker, I had a crush. Yeah, had a crush. And thus the uproar over the village's fountain came to a quiet end. Many people were hurt and full of regret in order to get their wish granted for their own greedy curiosity. But speaking for myself, the fountain's existence wasn't only a bad thing. Being able to come to this village certainly made me happy. I'm sure that was a blessing brought about by the fountain. Was that fountain really a poisonous fountain? Naturally, I was interested in it, but I never bothered to look into it further. Yeah, why, why question it? Yeah, why, why the fuck? When I watch the rise and fall of Sosuke's chest as he sleeps, Knowing the truth behind the fountain doesn't seem that important. Besides, that fountain can't be used anymore anyways. That's why there's two more games! I'm sure that doesn't come up at all! I shouldn't have broken that fountain. I hope I never say that for the rest of my life. Well, you just fucking did. You just did. You have to mean it. Uh. Hey, produce, scenario, illust, translate. Whoever translate, you. Thanks, I appreciate it, but you. F <laughs> Finn. Yay! Well, that's the end of Lagoon Lounge. Other than, um. Other than that one scene, and other than a few hiccups here and there, uh. I'd say it was uh, pretty nice. This game is charming as fuck. And, uh, here we go. Yay! And it doesn't look like there's any new stuff, so, uh, that's it for Lagoon Lounge. Yeah, I want to return to the title. What the fuck? Why would you. But anyway. <laughs> what is CG? What is CG? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, get off this screen. <laughs> that was, um... <laughs> You're just probably gonna see one big-ass fruit bat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, like I said, other than that one scene, other than that uh, one scene and, you know, the, the, the whole, like, 
touching Yujiro Kun while he's sleeping was apparently the right thing to do. And, and uh, other than that, other than the minor stuff, and then the one big thing, um, this game was charming as shit. Um, and I. I would be remiss if I didn't say that I'm looking forward to seeing what the fuck happens next. So, on the next one, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Lagoon Lounge 2. I've been told that it is uh, Cry 1's least favorite of the three. I don't know why. <laughs> um, makes me kind of worried. Uh, and apparently it's a little bit longer than this one. So, I guess we'll find out what the fuck, but uh, anyway, we'll see on the next one. So, thank you all for joining me on this game. Um, I had a finale in a while. The last one was uh, Major Minor. Weird. Anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be the train on professionals. Be the voices in my head when I say until then, fairly well. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Cut. That's enough. We're done. Christ. Christ! Oi!